Welcome to Wild Trout Man, featuring the art, science, adventure, and zen experience of fly fishing. Long live cold, clean water. Long live wild trout. Please help preserve this precious natural resource, and please subscribe to support the channel. Thank you, and enjoy this episode from Wild Trout Man. Just an absolute ton of minnows here. If they're trout, that's awesome. If they're black-nosed dace or something like that, some bigger fish are going to be feasting on those. Try and pinpoint a cast up there. Oh, gosh. They just went flying. You spook one, you spook them all. There's a brookie. I just saw one down there. <laughs> what do we got? A native brook trout. Cool. Let's get him to the water. Nice little beautiful native brook trout on my Super Adams fly. Floats fabulously and holds a dropper, so that's always nice. There he is. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that fish. So sweet, so pretty, so beautiful. Pennsylvania State fish. And away he goes. Welcome to Wild Trout Man on the stunning, gorgeous, stunningly beautiful day here in Northeast Pennsylvania. Uh, really happy to be out on the water. Just picked up a beautiful little brook trout. <laughs> They're always beautiful. And just started here. I had the Super Adams dry fly. Came up and in the fish ate that and there was a bunch of minnows in the water I wasn't sure if they were trout I, I kind of think they were probably like a black nose dace or something uh, along those lines because there's so many of them but uh, happy to pick up that trout here this water is really really nice check out the uh, the plant life we have growing here uh, looks like a you would see this in a, in a spring creek so maybe we have some spring seeps coming in here uh, got some beaver dam activity going there so can't wait to drop a fly right in that spot uh, the fish were the fish were extremely skittish where i was just just caught that one i just, I just lobbed that fly over a big bunch of bushes and <laughs> i fished i heard the splash and and gave a give a set the hook there so that was uh, a little bit of a surprise that i caught one i thought they would all be spooked uh, but nice to be on the board and as I always say, this, this is the pristine water that we need to keep cold and clean and, and, and beautiful and do what it takes to protect these wild areas. I believe this is a class A wild trout water. Haven't fished it before. I did scout it and it looks pretty impressive upstream from here. There's a beautiful scenery. So I'm looking forward to get up there. There's some beaver dams going on and should be, uh, should be really nice. So looking forward to it. Glad to get on the board with a little brookie there. How beautiful, how wonderful. I absolutely love it. Oh man, how oh, did he hit that? Yikes. <laughs> I might've been twisted. I don't know if I got that on film. He's got me in the, in the bush there. This thing came up and pounded it. I'm not sure if he's still on. Oh, it's a nice deep hole there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> couple of casts, couple of fish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Beautiful, healthy specimen there. We've had a really wet year, so it's a good year for the brook trout. Well, it comes out nice and easy. There he is. Beautiful, beautiful little fish. There he goes. Awesome little brookie there. Wasn't expecting to catch another one in that same spot because I uh, just pulled one out. 
thought I spooked everything. I said, okay, yeah, let's just drift another fly through there. And just bam, he came up and whacked that fly really, really good. And uh, very nice, very healthy brookie. We've had uh, quite a bit of precipitation, quite a bit of rain this year. So flows are good. Temps are, are, are really good for this time of year. And, and as the flow from all the rain, it's been a really wet year. So uh, the brook trout, the, they're certainly happy. Our native Pennsylvania fish here is uh, certainly happy when there's when there's water, water in the streams and, and uh, ants and beetles and hoppers falling in. So uh, this Super Adams fly, it, it imitates lots of lots of different uh, insects and you know anything that floats well on the surface, they're going to come up and and and, and uh, devour that fly for the most part. Get a good drift, find a good spot, and. Uh, Boom, you're gonna have a brookie on. So good good stuff. Good nice way to start the day here. Enjoy the show. Let's get a water temp and see where we're at here. 81 degrees. It's 81 degrees out. It's warm. The nights have been cool. Let's see how far down we're. What a great stream. Yeah, 62 degrees. Really nice. 62 degrees there. Definitely gotta be careful with water that's approaching 70. And this is this is some pretty good stuff. It's just going to keep getting cooler as we go upstream here too. Highly doubt another one's going to come up and hit that. Oh, jeez, God! <laughs> oh, they're still there. They're still hitting it. Wow, three for three in this hole. That was a smaller one there. But how fun! <laughs> oh, he came up again. One of them did. There's a bunch of fish here. I was downstream. I was just just the shadow of my line going across the water was just sending the fish flying everywhere. So I'm surprised to have a couple of them come up and hit right here. That big beefy dry fly is just too irresistible. A little twitch like it's a hopper. Let's go hit the beaver dam. That was fun. Let's try and stay low here. Not to spook anything. Let's see if we get a cast up there. Hook at a tree, which I just did. Darn. Ooh, I thought that would produce. I'm not sure if it's deep there or not. Maybe the spot is off to the right. I thought the depth was to the left. That is not the spot off to the left. Over here to the right is the spot. It's shallow and just looks real mud, total mud bottom there that doesn't look appealing. Doesn't look like I have any water movement. So better section is off here. The main channel on the right side there, which they probably already saw me. I'm pretty close but you got to give a cast. Little trusty super atoms there. It's a heck of a pattern. Oh, there's a great cast. Nothing. All right, nothing hits that. It's time to move on. Probably a decent fish under this log here. Got an eight and a half foot four weight Orvis Rincon is the rod. Oh, very nice rod. I wish they had a little hook catch here. That's a big disappointment not having that. Otherwise, it's a nice rod. Oh, man, nice. Oh, man, nice fish. Wow, that's a beauty. Wow, nice, nice brookie here. Look at that little fast water he's in. How cool. On the dry fly, on the super abs. Boy, wow, loving it. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Man, he ate it. <laughs> Look at that. Is it getting any better? That's beautiful. Probably a female. I'll get a pick of that fish. Fly is out. Just picked up a beautiful, beautiful brookie here. Little tiny section of stream, some, some fast moving water, and it came up and nailed a dry fly. Awesome. Look at the spot here. Here's the spot, and here's the little 
gorgeous, gorgeous brook here. Look at this, look at this amazing fish. Wow, so beautiful. Let's get them back, back to your home there, bud. Thanks for the opportunity. Really nice to see you today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just picked up a really, really nice brookie. Oh, thought I had the underwater camera going on him, but it wasn't on. It was, it was in standby, darn. Uh, but did get some good, uh, good video of catching him. So special fish. Look at the little section of stream here. He was in that really fast water. Too bad I didn't get the underwater release and close-up shots of him because it was a, it was a beautiful brookie. And I'll just, uh, I'll show you this, the uh, underwater. The vegetation, I think it's watercress that's just moving here. It's just like a like a spring creek here. That's pretty amazing. The water temp is 62 and it's, it's 82 degrees outside and the water temp 62. That was the spot there. Uh, yeah. Very, very nice to see him come up and nail that dry fly in this in this fast water. Just came up and just hit it hard and and the gentle release. Can you believe it? There's a trout right in front of me. The second one. I just threw it for kicks. Oh man, he came up again. That's a good sized fish. As far as brookie standards are. Let's give him a minute to calm down. I can't believe he doesn't see me. There he is. Oh. Very nice, a little bit smaller than the last one. Really healthy fish. Great colors, well fed, nice body. Look at the fins, the eyes nice and clear. Just a beautiful specimen. Everything about this fish is, is health. Wow, what a nice little hidden gem stream here. I wasn't expecting all this action, just in a very short distance. Uh, a stream that I haven't fished that's close to where I live and wow that's amazing here he is look at this beautiful brookie gorgeous gorgeous fish here look at that gorgeous gorgeous fish there boom oh missed him, missed him going down each spot i catch a fish i'm like okay there's not gonna be another one there but i'll just just throw a cast for for the heck of it and, and wham there's another fish uh, quality stuff and really healthy specimens. Each each fish, you could tell their uh, the weight the, the weight for their size and, and uh, uh, the color on the fish, the scales, the, the fins, the eye, the mouth. Just everything about that specimen is uh, is a good a good quality healthy fish. Especially when it comes to to native trout, you know our native brook trout. That's the most special fish, and and for wild fish as well. You know you don't generally don't see this kind of look and feel to a fish when, when it comes from uh, from the hatchery quality wild trout man moments here great float look at that. that's that's per you know, perfect float there for a fly on the surface you want it same speed as the bubbles fly under the surface you know, a little bit slower than those bubbles because the closer you get to the bottom the, the slower that current is all right that was cool let's move on to the next spot look at how beautiful that is i don't know which branch to go to the branch on the right looks a little more shallow. The branch on the left looks really hard to fish, but let's, let's head this way. See what's over here. I'm thinking there's a beaver down here somewhere. Oh, look at this. Really hard to get a fly in there. Oh my God, there's definitely a fish there. Definitely a fish. 
Oh my God, I got a good float. Oh, nothing hit it. Wow, I had a great float through there. <laughs> got lucky with that cast. Oh, nothing, two in a row, wow. Huh. I'm expecting one in every every spot now. Two great casts. Oh, it is. It's Beaver Dam. It's Beaver Dam right here. All right, I'm gonna try and loop a cast. I don't have much room here. This is fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone who ever says fishing is boring. Wow, they know nothing about fishing, especially these wild trout man and adventure fly fishing expeditions. Cool stuff. All right, nothing there. A little shallow. Not sure if I just saw a fish there or not. Thought I might have saw something. Really neat place to explore here. Wow. Oh, nice deep spot right here. Looks like it could hold a trout or two. Didn't kick any out. Yeah. Oh, had a hit. Nice shaded spot over there. I don't know if it's deep enough, but let's try and get a fly there. Critical first cast. Most important. Oh, nice. Got it in there, didn't get a great drift. It stopped, got stuck on a stick. Oh, here's the other side. Maybe this is where we should be. I'm sure in the normal season, this stuff is probably pretty bone dry in here. We just had a really wet year. And that's some happy brook trout. Ooh, oh geez. Sorry, little guy. I always try to estimate how old these fish are. Is this fish a year old? I would say this fish is, was born, yeah, he's a year old. There he is right there. Using a 5X fluorocarbon tippet off of my nine foot leader. He came up and sipped it. Wow, nice trout. Nice brookie right there. Right by the log. I don't know if you're able to see that. Nice sized brookie just came up, sipped it in, and I wasn't able to set the hook quick enough. Let's reel some line in here. Get messy. How about messy in soccer? Man, the guy's been on a tear. What a phenomenal player. So fun to watch. <laughs> With Inner Miami. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, there he is. Oh, missed him again. Wow. That fish came up definitely twice. I didn't see my fly in the first one. Maybe he took it then as well. Every deep spot, and it's not really deep, it's what, like a little over a foot, 18 inches, you got a trout. So I'm gonna try and get one right back in there again. Boy, they're certainly going after the dry fly. That, that's cool. I was thinking, should I go dry dropper? It's always harder to fish a dry dropper. You got two hooks, two flies, uh, two different depths. 
it's so tight here. You know, it's so easy to get stuck in a tree. You, know, you don't want to do that if you don't have to. And it's more fun catching them on the dries anyway. Seeing them go up to the surface is, is amazing. So I didn't have to go to the dry, adding the dropper to the dry here. They, that's, that's nice. And this time of year, it's, they're usually feeding on the surface. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was a good float. That was a good float. It was slower. Maybe too slow. You had time to inspect it. <laughs> All right, we might come back for you. <laughs> we know where you are. Let's circle around here. Oh, that looks nice, but it looks difficult to get into. Oh, there's a rise. <laughs> it's a beaver. <laughs> The gorgeous stuff you find when you go out exploring. Look at this beauteous, amazing Mother Nature. Yeah, look at this. This is great. Oh, there we go. Nice. I was going to say that was a good cast up there. Keep them out of the weeds. Gorgeous brook trout. Look at that one. It's got some good colors on them. Nice, beautiful, healthy specimen. What do you think? Two years old? Probably a two-year-old, maybe three, but probably two. I don't know. Yeah. Just pop, pop that little, pop that hook out nice and gently there. Looking at me right on that watercress. Is that watercress? I think it is. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> When you catch whoppers, they go through your net. <laughs> I was going to take a quick pick. He's out of here. <laughs> I'm not sticking around for that. He had the, that was the most colorful one. I'm losing track how many. That's like, I don't know, what is that? Five or six? Maybe six trout now. Just short distance. I, I'm not going to get very far in the stream. Don't have much more time to fish. And uh, it's just too productive. <laughs> You don't get very far exploring. How lovely. Look at this. God, I love it. Wild Troutman environment here. Try not to have your fly slap the water. You know, nice and gently get that fly out. I'm getting ripples up there with my, you know, coming upstream with my boot. Uh, but maybe it looks like a little bit of wind, you know, as well, perhaps. I don't know. It's about where I picked up that fish, right there. Looks deep. Deeper. That was a nice, oh, jeepers. Oh man, nice fish. Oh baby. <laughs> There's the prize. Wow. Cool beans. Keep them out of the watercress. Look at that fish. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. There's the prize. Beautiful, gorgeous native brook trout. Look at that. Pennsylvania's finest on a dry fly, on the super atoms. This is wonderful. Wow. Look at that. How about that? How about that take? Did he, he wasn't messing around. So that, that Super Adams is mine. <laughs> he ate it. Took it down good. 
He ate it really well. Little watercress in there. Let's get the fly out. Nice and gently. He's got some teeth. That guy's not getting through the net. <laughs> How about a quick pick? You're a beauty. Send it out to my cousin out in Colorado. He's a Pennsylvania, born in Pennsylvania. He loves seeing these trout. There's a wild trout man moment. Not with that beautiful brookie. There he is, wow. Gorgeous, stunning fish. Just picked up a stunning native brook trout here. Uh, wow, a really awesome moment. Came up for the dry, came up for the super atom, smacked it, and nice battle, got him in the net. Did a little underwater release. But wow, I'm having, having camera difficulties. Uh, it said my, um, to format my SD card. So wow, I hope I haven't lost all the footage from uh, speaking on camera and, and doing the underwater release with the fish. That, that would be really, really unfortunate. Uh, so I've got my secondary camera that I use for the tripod going now. And hopefully that other footage will be salvageable. Having, having a great, great time here. Uh, stream close close to where I live. Haven't fished before. Scouted it out once and said, wow, i got to get back and check out this place. And I'm just picking up one, one trout after another. And... Uh, we had quite a bit of rain this year, so the levels are great. The, the water temperature was 62, uh, really nice to 82 out with 62 degree water. And it's like a, it's like a limestone stream here with, with the amount of vegetation. It's the type of, type of stuff you see in a, in a spring creek. And we're here in the in coal country, you know, so uh, we don't get, we don't have this very often. So this is, this is a prize to, to find this place. So really nice glad you're here glad you're along for the ride uh, thank as always thank you for your support i sure hope i have that other footage to to show you as well that that's uh that'll be nice so anyway we're gonna go uh go with this camera for now and, and hopefully make up for it in, in that way all right right below the tree there a nice long cast a nice gentle uh presentation with the fly and wham just came up and smacked it up smacked it well there's some little minnows down here, really small. I would think a, a brookie would be bigger at that point, at this point of the year. Not sure what that is. There's two of them there. Uh, ooh, I just saw something go flying over here. Uh, yeah, I see, a, I see a, a, a horizontal stripe. So it's probably a dace. It doesn't have the speckles like a, like a trout. When you see forage fish like that, it usually means a, a good pH. So let's, uh, we got the water temp. Let's do a pH here and see where we're at. Between a 5.3 and a 5.5. Five. Looks like more of a 5.5. Five. With how well the stream is performing, I would expect it to be more of a 5.8, closer to 6, but it's working. Each time I think I'm not going to catch another fish in one spot, I ended up pick, end up picking up another fish. That was a bruiser for this, this stream. Thought it was a brown. <laughs> When you get when they get to be that size, it's like I almost don't expect it to be a brook trout, but it was, and that's cool. And no browns in the stream, so that's nice. I love my brown trout, but it's nice to have some streams that exclusively have our native brook trout. And try over by the bush there a little bit. Most of these fish haven't been hesitant. They've been, they've been coming up and hitting that fly hard. Which means it probably doesn't get a lot of pressure this stream. Fish aren't as skittish as what they can be. Some of these streams get pounded and fish are very skeptical. sure where the deepest part of the stream is. I'm just working everywhere. That last big guy was in the middle. It's 
knee deep here. It's over my knees. It's almost to my thigh. So this might have been his spot right here. That looks really fishy. Great little lie there for a brook trout. For a nice sized brook trout. Oh. Oh man. Just had a really nice rise and I'm stuck in the tree. I'm gonna have to sacrifice this fly. Oh man. Wow. That 6X Rio is strong. There's a nice little box of joy there. Chock full of super atoms and beat head pheasant tails. <laughs> oh man, that stuff works. All right, back you go. So I just tied on about 13 inches of Rio 6X, no Rio 5X, to my fly, fly line, my leader to a size 16 Super Atoms. Really gotta do a tying video of these. Finding the time is the difficult part. All right, so we had one rise up there and I sacrificed a fly for this guy. So let's see if we can catch him. I'm hoping I do find my fly in the tree there. <laughs> that was the plan. Don't want to, don't like losing the super atoms or any fly. No, oh, that is not where the fish jumped. He jumped four feet to the right, three feet to the right. Bad first cast. Bring that fly in ever so slowly and get another cast out there. Uh, there we go. Nice. Cool. Nice color in this guy. It's like the first male. Oh, let's take you in the sunlight examine you properly like a fine brook trout should be that's cool look at that look at those colors gorgeous gorgeous just stunning look at that wow Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How about that beauty guy? Beautiful specimen. Nice. Look at this gorgeous fish. That was a beautiful fish. Beautiful brookie there, male brookie. Sacrificed the super atoms, uh, had it stuck in the in the shrub there. Sacrificed that one because I saw the rise. Came back and and picked that one up. So that was pretty special. Second cast, first one was a little bit off to the left, and uh, it wasn't exactly where he rose last time, but close enough. He came up, hit it, and uh, fish on, and <laughs> fish on. So again, this is uh, really quality water to be able to pick up this these fish, these native brook trout. We have to protect these streams. Very important to uh, protect these small streams. These are the capillaries. You, you blow these out. There's so much pollution downstream that, that if we don't have these smaller streams to help clean water, help clean the water as it flows downstream, we're just gonna have all kinds of issues. So very, very important. Take, take care of the wetlands. Take care of the small tributaries. Very critical. They, they, the, the bigger streams, they're, they're too warm, they're, they're too polluted, they're, you know, many of them don't have brook trout. So uh, it's our state fish. Let's take care of what we have and, and try and build on this. There's some really nice sections up ahead. I was filming that on the drone when I, when I first came, got, when, I was filming that with the drone when I first got here. So 
I haven't even got to that section yet. I, I fished such a, a short section of stream, <laughs> just one brook trout after another. Oh my gosh, another one. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I almost, I was looking down at my camera to see if I was recording, and I just took a quick peek and got a quick peek back up and just in the nick of time. Oh, I think I, I think this guy is not hooked in the mouth. Or is he? No, I think I got him. Yeah, I thought I thought, he, I thought it was slow in the draw and foul hooked him, but oh, look at that fish! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What a specimen! Each one, so fantastic. There he is. Look at that. Look at the colors in this fish. Look at that. Just spectacular. Look at how beautiful that fish is. Amazing, 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 amazing. Let's get the fly out. Stunning, super stunning, super beautiful. Look at that. Right next to that water crest. Just where I released the other guy right there. Boom. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And these are beaver pond. It's a really small stream that's got some depth and width here because it's dammed up with, uh, it's got beaver activity here. How about that beauty? It's just one brookie after another, one gorgeous brookie after another. Everyone's been on the dry fly on the Super Adams and you think you'll, you, you're you not going to catch another fish, you know, in, in the same spot. <laughs> and yeah, you make another cast and bam, another brook trout comes up and nails the fly. So, uh, really nice. Really nice. Having a great, great time. Great day. Got a late start. And uh, look at that amazing tree there. Got a late, late start and it doesn't matter. Just, just get out here. You think, oh man, I'm not going to have enough time. But, uh. Even if you're here for an hour, or, you know, whatever you, whatever you got, just just get out and do it and experience this. It's it's phenomenal. Ooh, that was a smaller one. But he hit. That's cool. Oh no! Oh, there we go. Fresh off the log. Bam. <laughs> Just trying to get next to that water crest on the left. That's next to the watercress. Let's stay focused on that fly, boy. It just, just really hones your focus. You're not looking anywhere, just right at that fly, just staring at it continuously. <laughs> and trying to take in the beauty around you as you're doing it. Nice and deep right here. Look at this. There's a brookie right there. At least one, maybe two I saw there. Yeah, right here, here's another one. There's the spot, that's the deepest spot right there. And you can see that it's a little bit slower because there's some vegetation on the bottom, some, some debris on the bottom. So it's a little bit slower there compared to the other areas. So it settles in in this deeper spot. That's where they hang out. That's where I was catching them, boom, right there. Right down here. That was where they were laying. Deepest spot, most protection. Ooh, I just think I just saw one go by. All right, I'll give you guys a rest. Thank you for, ooh, I think I see like a little bit of mud right here. Ooh, oh my gosh. Wow, if you saw that, there must have been like four of them. One really nice one, dark black, just came flying by. Yeah, this is all, all good right up in here. Deep, deeper, deeper. More shallow up by the log. Yeah, it's thigh deep. Yeah, you can see the mud right down here. Oh my gosh, they're, they're still going flying by. Yeah, a bunch of trout right there. Good spot. All right, I'm not sure which branch. Oh, I see a fly, I see fly line. Ha ha, I got my super atoms back. Here it is. Yay. 
<laughs> Just pulled my super hands out of the out of the branch right there. There it is. Cool. <laughs> Glad I sacrificed it. We got look at that. Wow. This uh Rio 6X, or I'm sorry, Rio 5X is is good stuff. That was that was strong. I really had to pull hard to get that to break. Alright. Back in the box for that productive fly to be used on another day. Alright, just gonna fish up here a little bit further. Not sure of the depth here, but they you can see they're all hanging out in the depth. Most likely to get munched on by a predator, speared by a bird of prey. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, darn it. <laughs> I don't think it was a big fish. You gotta stay focused. Your eye has to be on that fly. You, you take your eye off for, for a second. I don't know what I was just, I said bird of prey and I don't know, I was thinking about a <laughs> bird of prey. Henry Ramsey, man, you had that picture of that, those browns with those big chunks taken out of them. That was like flashing through my mind when I said that. So, gotta stay focused. Check out where my hands are. I, I move my hands to this spot instantly so you're ready to strike. As soon as I make that cast, I get my hands up in this position so I can pull, pull line and lift rod to set the hook. Okay, watch when I... Get it out there. My line is there. Okay, the hand is ready, ready to pull in. Oh, I see a stick there. That stick, no, that's the more water, watercress. I'm gonna work my way up to the fast water. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's the rhizos right there. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, got him in the branch. I don't know if I'm getting this one. I was lucky I got each one out of the branches so far. Where are you at? Let's fish you out. I think he's still on. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, maybe he's off. I guess I lost him. Ooh, I lost him. That was the first one I lost. That was a tough one there. But it was cool. That was where I saw him, saw him arise on that, on the right side of the limb there. And once the fly hit that spot, boom, that's where the trout was. Good sized fish too. Again, oh, the average size of the brook trout here are nice. Nice sized fish. This reminds me of that fish I cut out in Colorado. Brownie that took me into the to the want to the vegetation and I don't know how I got him out of there that was a cool one catching him on hoppers out there check out that hopper video I'll put it in the description <laughs> it's pretty fun good day catching brookies and browns out there on hoppers all right got quite the entanglement here it's more beaver dam activity here. Little guy.
beautiful little dude there. Right behind the beaver dam. Not sure how deep it is, that's always the, always the key. How deep is the spot here? Can it hold a trout? Can't tell how deep it is. It's got depth, it's gonna have a trout. Nice cast. And we'll be home. Must not be too deep. Let's go find out. Look how shallow it was here where I caught that little guy. Up over here, that's where, that looks better. The left side is better. I know that for next time. Probably scared anything there now, but we'll give it a quick toss here. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, well, that held trout. That was, there was definitely a trout there. A bird of prey over there in the corner of my eye. All right, let's. Uh, I think it's time to go. That was really fun. Uh, have to head back now. Uh, a couple hours out, fishing was. You know, the brookies were on fire. Sometimes, you know, you hit those days like that where they're beautiful day, sunny blue sky, cold water. They were looking up to the surface and, and just pounding that super at them. So uh, really, really nice. To, uh, every, I had quite a few fish take me into some sort of structure on the bottom and, and I was able to pull them all out except that last one. <laughs> he, uh, still fun fun to make that cast have them come up hit the fly set the hook you got the fish on you know sometimes they're going to take you into some uh you know you got wood got trout so that's they're, they're diving down there for protection and hey, that, that was a smart one that got away he was you know decent size like like the other ones the average size fish here was was pretty good for you know, the, the how the size of the stream it's a small stream that gets some depth and some width because of the the beaver dam activity that is uh helping out now for, for these, these brookies. It can, can add some warmth to the water, but uh, still cold enough where these brookies are. They're, they're living the good life here. So really nice quality, clean, pristine stream that we need to continue to protect, as I will continue to say. You'll get tired of me saying that, but this, these, these lands are special. This water is special. Water is life. Yeah, you can't, we're not going to get far if we, uh, you know, we've polluted this place enough and, and the coal mining industry in Northeast PA, boy, it just, it, it devastated so many streams. And a shout out to, to Ep Camera, who I work with. Uh, I'm the president of Ep Camera. We work with cleaning, you know, so many of the, the, these mining areas here and the Middle Susquehanna River Keeper, another great organization there and the vice president of that organization and our Stanley Cooper Trout Unlimited. I'm treasurer there, so I put in a lot of, a lot of volunteer time, a lot of hours, this is my passion. Cold, clean water and, and, and native brook trout, wild brownies, you know, that's, that's good stuff. And uh, a shout out to the Luzerne Conservation District as well. That's a, uh, a, a great organization there. So peace out and hope you enjoy. And if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button because it means a lot to, to keep the Wild Trout Man channel going. So until next time, Wild Trout Man, enjoy.
getting my workout. This is my gym. Get the gym time. Got to keep moving. Got to keep the body moving. Got to keep the brain moving. That's it. If you want to live, get, get out there and move. Feed the body, feed the mind, and feed the soul. It makes us human. Keeps us going. Love the sound of that running water. All right, back, back to civilization. <laughs> Darn.